Hey, man, mm-hmm. uh, how often do you go to the dentist, Justin? Like once a year, I'd say. I've gone once every three years. You disgust me. Okay. So the last time I went to the dentist, it had been like three years, and Bonnie's like, mm, you're going to get it. I had a permanent retainer that broke because of a hard candy. They said I had uh, exceptionally good. They said you have the rarely contracted toothaches. <laughs> it disguises oh itself as perfect teeth until you turn 40 <laughs> years old, at which point it ripens into full-blown toothaches. Yeah! It's Tuesday night. It's always Tuesday night on the internet. Because it's go time for Not Attack, the show that brings you the best of the worst of the internet ever since anybody paid attention. Hello, beautiful folks. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. And joining me from OAK, it's JRY, Justin Robert Young. What's up? Hello, Brian. Man, Man we- do you even remember when that was recorded? Uh, I, I think it was before the most recent time. It, it was sometime in the three-year gap between I, when I recorded it and the next time I went to the dentist, like, a month ago. And they and they actually, this time, they brought it up a notch. They're all like, yeah, th- no, yeah, they're still great. They're perfect. You're perfect. Uh, and it's like, normally we ask you to come back next year, but you're not going to do that. Just, you know, whenever you feel like it. <laughs> wow. So I think it was, I think it was, I want to say, two and a half years ago. Man. We've been doing this. It was was this week the anniversary for BB Live Show or NSFW? Uh, I believe this, it was NSFW. Yeah, this week was NSFW was two thousand nine. Seven years. No, yeah, two thousand nine, 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 okay. and then uh, and then uh, yeah, BB Live Show was even before then. I guess it, no, BB Live Show. We're we're coming up on the seven year anniversary of BB Live Show in one month. The seven year anniversary of BB Live Show, and then so that would be the six year for NSFW. Or, or was that how many? Did we even go a year with BB Live Show? No, we didn't. We we were so good. We hit the ground running with BB Live Show, and then some network swooped in and says, "Well, this is too good. I I'm going to pay you the big bucks now. Would you like? You ever seen one of these before? That's Benjamin Franklin. I got three of them for you." <laughs> <laughs> Episode one of BB Live show released January first, two thousand nine. Yeah, wow. And so what? Yeah, then. Oh my God. So wait, then then the first one of of me and you, your mama and your cousin too, was when? Do you still have that page up? Uh, I want to say like March. No, no, no. Or, or maybe, maybe, maybe even February. If I was gonna guess. This is this is the great thing about us having zero memory is that we get zero. to keep doing the no same memory. bit. Somebody's jogging, he's like, "You motherfuckers! I was there from the beginning. You forget every year. You forget every, every year." Episode every three, still at work, says. Uh, well, hey Brian, hey, well, we got a hell of a show here for everybody tonight. We have the return of the one, the only, beloved movie uh, uh, of. of Essay writer, visual essay master Mikey Newman will be joining us. Dude, so excited. And I was doubly excited because last night I was like, oh, I should ask Mikey. You think he will? You think he will? And then the answer just comes back all caps. Fuck yes. He's got a quiz for us. As a matter of fact, do we have the Vegas odds on today's quiz? We do. Mitsula the Mike Rula sent along uh, his odds for uh, for us. Okay, we'll, we'll check up. in on that for the game. Yeah. But for those of you guys who don't know, we have a real life odds maker who puts up on the big board actual odds. And uh, I don't worry about winning the game. I only worry about beating the spread. That's all I care about. But there's a collective. Is that it? Yeah. There's a collective pool too of like total answers for both of y'all. So you should. You oh, know. right on. Right. Okay. All right. Well, good. We'll, we'll we'll visit that down the road. Hey, Justin, how was your week? How was it? Uh, this is a big uh, big week. Man, a lot of week to be had. Right. We uh we both we found ourselves in retail, ladies and gentlemen. Both Brian and I, which means that uh, the blackest of Fridays and the is sides hosted of, by white people. <laughs> it turns yeah, out, and, and 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 the cyberest of Mondays, uh, where everybody greets each other with the traditional uh, ASL. 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 You know? <laughs> ASL. <laughs> what are you wearing? Uh, oh, what are you wearing, sir? 
<laughs> well, you indeed are a lovely 15-year-old girl from California. <laughs> a wink. <laughs> and I, myself, am experimenting with lesbianism, which is why I, too, am 15. <laughs> and female. Well, ASL. ASL, ASL to you, too. Uh, uh, PM me. That's that's the, <laughs> the goodbyes. You, you doff yeah, your no, cap. Up, up. Yes, PM. Yeah, yep. PM me. PM me. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, here's my hotmail. <laughs> uh, so it's a big week for us. Yeah. You yeah, know, you make a lot of you make a lot of money sometimes. Yes. on these well, and and it's yeah, and we're both you know we're two idiots slowly figuring all this stuff out. And we talked about this in the After Things podcast where we got to pull back the kimono a little bit and and talk about numbers. But uh, what I thought was interesting, uh, you know, for for us like we had such a, a big deal last year that it's like let's just pretty much do everything we did last year and hopefully hopefully it's not an illusion and we'll be able to keep this rickety ship afloat another year. Yeah, and uh, uh, but you. You guys made a bold new direction. Talk me through how this how this whole plan went about. Uh, uh, you mean you mean the the medium thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. So, uh, contender game presidential debate. Uh, you guys have heard me plug it to literal death uh, here on the show. Uh, so much of Diamond Club has been so supportive of it, uh, including, and 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 most notably, I want to give a gigantic shout out. To the one, the only, the sheriff of the subreddit, California Carl. I need everybody right now in the chat room to give California Carl the biggest standing ovation uh, that this has. Uh, Why? This what, what's, any... he, what's he ever done except for complain about not having a beard for Santa? That's all he's good for. If I want, oh if I, he's my number God. one source for complaints about Santa not having a beard. So here's what happens. Uh, uh, we. Finally got into the black on the contender, which meant that we were not ashamed to write part two of our how to run a successful Kickstarter series on Medium, which is congratulations. You've run a successful Kickstarter. Here's how you don't do what we did, which is immediately go tens of thousands of dollars into debt. Yeah, so the first chapter here, October 30th, 2015, very successful. We made $142,000 on Kickstarter, and so can you. We're just made of success. We have all the ideas. The gold is ours. Absolutely. And <laughs> Next then we up. have the one that we published this week. How we turned 140000 on Kickstarter into 40000 in debt and how we broke even. Uh and yeah, my favorite part, uh, and it, it is a great, uh, self-effacing, honest peek behind the curtain, with complete with graphs and metrics and explanations for, uh, you know, for why you made the decisions you did and the projections that you had, and and what a wake-up call it was, and how you went into panic mode, and things you tried, and what worked and what didn't. Uh, it was, it's a great read. It's a great, great read. My favorite part going through it is the Welp Now What section where John goes through all the things you guys tried and how many, how few of them worked. And then there's this one, it just says, edit, tried reading a tell-all series about your business and hope someone blows it up on Hacker News and Reddit. Result, hi everyone. <laughs> so I, I take it that this was a success. Well, so, and uh, I'll tell you what, I have not uh, talked to California Carl in, uh, uh, aside to tell him that I loved him and I was going to buy him a million beards for Christmas, but... Uh, He's not gay. I mean, at least he hasn't said. And also, he, he could date, he could find a girl. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to buy him. I'm going to buy him a person. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to engage in a slavery transaction and then pass the deed of that human yeah, being. Dude, M. Riddick W. in the chat's right. Don't go into debt again. You just got out of debt. You don't need to buy him. I, slavery is very expensive from what I understand. Oh, no, a million. A million. <laughs> uh, let me get into my slavery computer. And for the Beep record, it, it wouldn't be prostitution because that's the point of a beard is you don't actually have sex with them. They're just there to make you fit into society. Exactly. Oh, we have lots of sex, says your beard, <laughs> in the most convincing fashion possible. Uh, so, no, uh, uh, so he can actually answer this, because I don't know for a fact what the order of operations was, but uh, we, uh, John wrote that up on Thanksgiving. John was very excited to write up this thing. Uh, as soon as, like, you know, we had our, our Cyber Monday or sorry, our, our Black Friday email that went out on Wednesday. 
uh, and then uh, everything kind of goes the way that it's going to go over the weekend. And then on Thanksgiving, John is on the slack and I'm not really excited to be talking about things because it's Thanksgiving and all I'm doing is just getting drunk and eating all sure. day. And John's like, hey, we should publish the, the, the part three thing now. And I'm like, why? He's <laughs> like, well, because we're both on the computer. We're looking for something to read. Bet you a million people are looking for something to read. And he's right. I was on the computer right then. <laughs> so I'm like, ah. I mean, I guess we can, but we're definitely not going to like use any official channel to push it until next week. He's well, like, cool. And, and also, it should be noted that the end of the article goes on to say, and, and the idea of publishing this on Black Friday or that weekend is just insane because the article ends with like, hey, so anyway, uh, we're not in debt anymore, but we've made no money and the election's over and we have 10,000 units and we need to choose whether or not we want to destroy 5,000 of them so that we could save five grand or pay only $700 or yeah, exactly. Pay $700 and destroy 5,000 of them or, uh, or, or pay $5,000 to keep them there. And, uh, and so you're like, your move, internets. <laughs> and then that's the end. That's basically it, right? And so it goes out into the ether and, you know, it doesn't really do much. And because we haven't pushed it anywhere. And uh, Monday comes around and I'm like, all right, I, I, we got to hit our mailing list again, right? Because it's Cyber Monday. I want to remind everybody this is the last day that they could get, you know, all the deals. And uh, also, we're going to hit up our Kickstarter for the first time. Now, there's a large overlap between our Kickstarter and our uh, and, and our mailing list. But uh, I'm like, all right, let's hit up the Kickstarter. So I, I the Kickstarter is like focused on all the add ons and stuff like that, because everybody's got the deck already. But it also has this like, hey, also, because you guys supported us here. You'd probably like this kind of teardown of how we went through things. So I'm thinking about that while I'm also preparing for jury, which I'm now doing on Mondays. So I do the entire jury basically on, it's like the audiobook version of John's article. Sure. So I go through everything from like my perspective using John's article as notes. So Carl can tell me whether or not he found it on the Kickstarter or listening to jury because I think he was in the chat room when I was doing it live, but all of a sudden, uh, it arose such a uh, clatter. My phone, I, I went to my iPhone to see what's the matter. All the sales are happening because Carl put it up on hacker news, uh, the, the Y combinator, uh, of news aggregator community and it blows up. And then from there, I'm like, well, geez, I got to put it up on Reddit. Uh, so I go to Reddit and uh, Reddit kicks the link right back in my face and says, hey, Dick, someone's already submitted this. Find some new news. Yes. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, this uh, and it looks like it got posted elsewhere as well. Uh, but uh, I saw it on the, the board game forum where it hit like over 500 upvotes or whatever. But it blew, blew up. But then, I mean, which, you know, gets us to the real question. Did you, did you have a good, uh, good, good weekend? Did you sell some stuff? Yeah, no. Yesterday was uh, yesterday was very, 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 very good uh, for us. We had our biggest sales day ever. Uh, today was also uh, in in the kind of refractory period of it. Uh, also very good for us. Uh, our goal was to have a ten thousand dollar holiday season. Uh, we are now beyond that within four days. So, uh, you know, aside from the fact that I'm going to spend the rest of my week in uh, the guts and glory office uh, uh, packing things up. Uh, life is pretty good, man. Like it, it's, uh, it was, it was good to kind of get out from under, not only the, uh, not, not only the manufacturer stuff, which kind of happened before, but John and I both put in a little bit of money just so we could have some buying flexibility. And now we're going to be able to get that out and still be able to take money, which is great. Dude, that's huge. That's huge. And what a counter and intuitive way to get there um you know <laughs> telling the truth <laughs> who knew man i'll tell you what I, I don't know what it is but what i kind of came to the realization of was that there's some kind of catnip on the internet where you can be within the venn diagram where one circle 
is, man, I can relate to that. And one circle is, man, I'm smarter than these people. And if you can do something in the center, yeah, in the just gray kiss. area like, of those like, like, two. Yeah, the, 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 two, the two spheres, like as thin a, thin a slice in there as you could get both, and then it's perfect. And it's just enough of like, and, and I guess there's a little kiss of a third circle that it's like, can't believe they're saying this in public, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, in, in, in general, yeah, because you got to be like, oh, well, I would never do that, but I can relate, right. you know? But also, man... These guys are kind of dumb. Like, it's just sort of like, it, it's like a lovable character on a comedy who can't help but step in the paint bucket. You're like, man, I would never step in a paint bucket. But at the same time, you're like, yeah, I've definitely not looked where I was walking before. LOL. Yes. There's just something about it. Uh, yeah, man. Well, congratulations. I'm glad. And, and, and the fact that that happened organically, I guess that was the weird thing. I called you last night. Just because I, I, because everyone on the team was tired of hearing me talk about it. Um, uh, I don't know what happened after a year of doing Modern Rogue and and then moving it to its own channel in September. Two months of like, you know, there's that initial push and it's like I do the AMA and we get like ten thousand subscribers or whatever, and and then it's like and there's like three hundred subscribers. It's 200 subscribers. And it's like, you know, I'm thinking silver play button in my mind. I'm like, hey, man, what are these days? And it's like it's getting lower and lower. And then and it's like, well, it'll just take longer. It'll take longer to get to, you know, that substantial area. You know what? Maybe it's always going to be a smaller channel. It's like even though, you know, we filled it with best practices, some of the best content we've ever done. It's authentic and interesting and fun. Real chemistry. I expected it to do a little better. Oh, wait. Well, I guess there's these collaboration opportunities. Maybe we'll get, you know, a thousand people here, a thousand people there. Yeah. Out of nowhere. How do those go? How do those collaboration opportunity uh moving right along mix <laughs> uh it's supposed to be a two-way street good news good yeah. news yeah great good there's great news because we post a video on friday and it does and it does well and then uh you know and then i look and i'm like man that number is higher than i than i remember it on saturday um but of course you know the, you get the metrics like two days later and then it's like on sunday i'm like this is definitely fast and then yesterday morning i start texting uh or, or in the slack saying to jason i was like uh hey remember this morning when this was at thirty thousand? he's like yeah i'm like it's, it's at 107 now he's like what and then and then 90 minutes later i'm like hey remember when i said it was at 107 it's it's at 140 now and then it's like and then and then and then i realized i was like dude that we were definitely below fifty thousand this morning and now we're at 50, 55 000 subscribers and then the numbers start coming in and for some reason this is the moment that the YouTube algorithm is smiling upon the channel and there's there's we're getting 7000 subscribers a day over this is up from 150 a day suddenly getting 7000 a day on the modern rogue and 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 people are seeing whatever this one video that went that went viral uh, it's, it, I guess it's at 300,000 now, but, but, but they're going through the back catalog and they're like, oh shit, where's this been all my life? I've never seen, how did I not know about this? That's the guy from scam school. Wait, I saw your TV show. And, um, and then they, everyone is calling me a bitch for not drinking the poison that we made. Yeah. Uh, but that's, and that's fine. And I'm like, ha I'm a total bitch. I'm so glad you're in my house. I'm hosting the party. Just super yeah, friendly yeah. to everyone. I'm a bitch. I'm a real big bitch. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm a big fat baby bitch. Oh, oh, I'm so silly. Anyway, subscribe. Tell your friends. <laughs> well, and it's uh, so uh, basically I, I it was amazing because like this happened on the day that it's finally, you know, it, it's been two months of white knuckle tension getting ready for the big Cyber Monday, you know, Christmas se season and all that stuff. And then the day Cyber Monday's over, then then this weird twinkling, you know, you hear the uh, the who's in Whoville singing that it's like, all is not lost on the modern rogue. And so, uh, man, I don't know. It's really exciting. Um you, we, yeah, you you're skipping the one thing. We hit seventy thousand viewers in like two weeks. We, uh, no, we, or, we, we were at forty four. Right. What I'm saying is like in two weeks we get jumped like twenty thousand. No, in one average. week we jumped seven thousand like a day. We've already done seven thousand today, and we did seven thousand yesterday, and seven thousand before that. It's insane, anyway. right? It's uh like I I I'm just. I'm obsessed with looking at it just because I expect it to stop at any moment. And I'm just like, so then what's, what's the big, uh, what's, what's the milestone? Well, like, cause, cause you, you're, you're close to some kind of play button, right? Oh yeah. No, a hundred thousand is the silver play button and that'll be hugely validating. And 
Well, uh, I'll keep you posted. But again, this could all fizzle. I mean, but like right now, pretty close. The, you, cl- closer than I dared hope. I I don't pretty understand. Close. Pretty uh, close. Brian, this, just say I'm going to hit a hundred thousand in four days. I'm just say never, the words. Never that, going to say it. It's the I mean, way that you. The, yeah, you on. want me to Babe Ruth this shit and, and call this shot? Uh, just and, say yeah. I mean, three days? You want? Do you think it's going to be in three days? <laughs> Brian Brushwood thinks the mother. modern rogue is going to hit a hundred thousand in three days. Somebody tell Jason Murphy that. I mean, this that Brian be... is on Night Attack right now, guaranteeing it. I mean. When we started, Sing- remember, remember what we were saying when we started, though, that we thought we could hit by the end of the year. By the end of the year, yeah. Uh, look at the calendar. Yes, no, it's definitely looking like it's going to happen. But I mean, if I was to say something outrageous, like uh, uh, Monday afternoon, two p.m., that would be a called shot. Sure, but good thing I didn't say that. No, you didn't. You didn't say this Monday, <laughs> Austin time. That is 3 p.m. East Coast. No, he did. He definitely did not say that specifically. But but what? Which dates would you guys not say out loud? Uh, I would say this Monday, (laughs) 2 p.m. Central Time, (laughs) is when everybody needs to go to YouTube.com/slash Modern Rogue and say, (laughs) "Yay, Brian was correct because he called it. He's clairvoyant." (laughs) Or Brian, you're a big fat baby bitch, and you curse the jam. <laughs> please, please don't say. Is it? <clears throat> yeah, I'm a baby bitch. Uh, that that would be my most optimistic projection. Is Monday? Yeah, at seven p.m. If, I mean, yeah. I'm assuming, time. assuming, but but again, everything goes in fits and starts. Sure, nothing stays the same. One like the the oh. uh, the uh, not the hypnosis, the Gansfeld one. Like that was trending really high for a real long time, and then it, uh, it was sort of then it leveled slowed off. down. It yeah. kind of leveled off, and I definitely thought, oh, this will hit a million views. Oh, and it never did. It just it, sort of it just kind of hit like seven fifty or so. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But look, I am nothing but giddy and 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 just beyond beyond thrilled. Um, uh, if anyone's wondering, if anyone's trying to build their brand, I, here's what I think is happening. There's a great tube filter art, article called uh, "Deconstructing the YouTube Algorithm," where uh, and it's all guesses because they don't release any of that stuff. But but YouTube has made several statements about the importance of watch time, and watch time has replaced views. And it just seems like YouTube doesn't want to be the place for five second cat videos or joke memes or whatever. And so instead, uh, the the algorithm seems to reward. Uh, uh, whatever the most Longer consistent form stuff. Correct, correct, and consistent stuff like always the same type of entertainment as well. So we'll see. Uh, well, hey man, listen, you have a lot to be uh, uh, proud of. Uh, the Modern Rogue, I think, has been your finest work that you've ever done. It's very obvious that you have not only taken everything that you've learned from Scam School, but also in the world of television and combined it. Uh, you've really unlocked the natural, amazing talent of Jason Murphy that you know uh, people around. You have always known, uh, but I think he is doing uh, such amazing, great work and really blossoming. Uh, it, it's it's the kind of entertainment that you can set your watch by, which is why everybody right now should go into their Google calendars <laughs> and set a reminder for Monday at 2 right, p.m. Central Time. I'm going right there. I'm going to write down. YouTube.com slash Modern Road. I'm going to do here. Uh, I'm going to set a reminder that just says, remember, you are an asshole and you brought this on yourself. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. There it is. Reminder, 2 p.m. You're an asshole, and you brought this on yourself. Uh, so, so, so there we go, uh, uh, man. Uh, I, I am, I am super thrilled, and it was, uh, it was, it was great to talk to you last night after, uh, you know, we had had such a gigantic day on, uh, on, on, on the contender and everything, and uh, and then you had the the huge I- weekend for for the modern rug. It was, it was one of those moments where you know. We've uh, we've we've come a long way since those first BB Live shows where you were literally just trying to avoid a DUI by setting up a webcam in your uh, extra room. <laughs> and I was in a sweaty warehouse in Margate trying to not pass out because there was no air conditioning. Oh my God, it was crazy, uh, man! But how far we've come with this little ramshackle uh, sip at, ship at sea. Uh, Night Attack is now supported by you and 1,557 of your best friends who are all patrons, keeping us loud, live, and independent. We cannot thank you guys enough. In fact, I think uh, I think some people changed their pledges. 
this week. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure what they wanted to do is get their own private RSS feed for their audio journey that has all of the pre-show and the post-show. So they get to double the amount of time that we spend hanging out, keeping their days just a little uh, more entertaining. And I think it's time for... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> by the way, Stephen Cogswell made this after last week's episode, and he put it on this same page so I would see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. It's good. It's good. My God, man, the unofficial uh, uh, composer. Of of the night attack program, Stephen Cogswell, just a goddamn genius. Well, uh, uh, all right, patreon.com slash night attack is where you can support this show. Again, you get your own private RSS feed. You get access to the after show and the pre show, which uh, will go live ASAP before it goes up on the YouTube channels. But anybody who either adjusts their pledge <laughs> upward or <laughs> makes a new pledge. Get the chance to go into Brian's inbox where he selects one person. I don't know which we chant their name. We, man, and the idea is just to weird out their day. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't know how many. What's in, more interesting to me now is not when we say the person's name, but how many people are thinking. Oh, it's like when somebody comes out with a birthday cake at the Mexican yep. restaurant, and you start going, "Oh shit, it is my birthday." Oh, good, it's them over there. <laughs> So if they were exercising, what do you think they'd be doing? <laughs> they'd they'd be they'd have slowed it down to a walk. They're currently walking, shaking their head. Oh, because they're, they're like, oh, I wonder, mm. I wonder, mm. I wonder. All right, and everybody is about to start running again, relieved, except for Joshua, Joshua Chap. 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 Joshua Chap. Cheerio. Cheerio, Joshua Chap. You've never heard that before your whole life. Chap. Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap with a baseball bat. Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, Joshua Chap, got a Siamese cat. Hey, separate from all this, there was a great moment. And this is one of the things I love about building the relationship with the patrons is I was watching the orders come in over the weekend. And I and I come running around the corner and I'm like, Bonnie, Bonnie, you'll never guess who bought something. And she goes, who? And I go, Zachary Durst. Zachary Durst. <laughs> Zachary, Zachary, Zachary Durst. <laughs> now, now, Zachary, I, I bet, was surprised just now. <laughs> I do the exact same thing. Whenever I see anybody that we've, like, shouted out or is, like, I always just get so excited that, like, you know, uh, anybody who buys, like, a sticker pack, holiday sticker packs available at stickers or DIAF.com, <laughs> I, and I see somebody's name that that uh that that we that we know and love I'm like oh I'm so excited I just get I just do a little dance all right well, I'm not as, as excited as I am right now to bring on your friend of mine Mikey Newman of Movies with Mikey Mikey how are you bud uh trying to mute the other, hang on sorry hello hi hi hi, hi. sorry i don't have video Man. this is just a train wreck no I, well i mean a very I, handsome you, <laughs> you have a very hi, handsome hello. skype sorry. image I That's don't like, know it's like how a to headshot? do anything. How does Skype work? How does the computer happen? I don't know anything. Mikey, I have to blame you for, for something. I saw... Really? Because I was going to congratulate you on, on an amazing growth on your channel. Please. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Now great me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I saw your amazing review of Serenity and Firefly and the counterintuitive oh. point that you make. Uh, minor spoiler, go watch it. But he explains that... It's because they fail all the time that that it's only right that the show failed and that everything goes, you know, that's what made the characters endearing. I'm saying, endearing. I'm saying it enhances their like wh what that show has done because Firefly is bigger than it is. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Saying that the failure of the show to find an audience and the failure of the movie to find an audience is why you continue to love it and support it. Like it, you, you, you fight to win because you know you're going to lose. Yes. And and that's also what the what what seems to be bubbling under the surface and you and you mention uh uh you know kind of in in the roundabout way which is don't ask for a revival cuz it will only disappoint you. Well I I yeah I I've been thinking about that recently cuz like straight up for real that X-Files revival yapes 
Wait, because like I liked X Files, but I wasn't gaga about it originally. It was like a cool show I watched sometimes, and I was really excited. I was like, "They're bringing it back! This is gonna be so cool!" The show that Vince Gilligan got a start on. Should have called. Should have called Vince. Yeah, man. <laughs> Better call Vince. Been a, it should, yeah, it should it have been the name so of the X Files revival. It was remarkably a dumb bad thing. Well, so I mean, but it's always, but that's that's always just whenever you bring these things back, it's always this pet cemetery. Like, oh, well, well we get it back, but like, oh no, now it's murdering our dreams, and it's, it's pe- not it's as pet good. Pet cemetery too, every time. <laughs> exactly. It's always, it's, it's, it's always, it's, it's always the, the Ramones pet cemetery song. That's what every revival on Netflix is. Right. So, uh, so after watching the review, I immediately went to Netflix, and I'm like, oh, let me grab, uh, grab Serenity, and let me, oh, good, Firefly's there. So I go to Fire- do it. I, I did the same thing. And Firefly about, is still there. I'm yeah. about to click on it. Sorry. But then I noticed, I was like, you know, I never actually watched Battlestar Galactica 1980. <laughs> Not the actual, I did watch 1977 Battlestar Galactica, it was epic, and it inspired the, the reboot, that- but, uh. Galactica 1980, isn't that the one where they went to Los Angeles and it's all just in Los Angeles? And it, wait, well, that's not Apollo. Wait, is that even Starbuck? Wait, what is happening? Uh, eight episodes later, <laughs> I realized that it is a. It's it is like, indeed not Firefly. Like, no. He was holding out. I was like, man, you, this is a you lot did weirder this. than I thought. You, you just went <laughs> right past it. Well, it's it's amazing because it's I, I, I'm gonna say it's bad, but it's just it's just journeyman work of uh, it's of its time and of low enough quality that even I, who normally don't notice these things, suddenly find myself saying like, "Wait a minute, you just wrote this really convoluted way to not spend money on costumes. Why are every all the episode children... is a bottle episode now? Yes, exactly. Yeah, why are all the children on Earth disguised as Boy Scouts camping to rail against the dangers of pollution? <laughs> Because reasons, and uh, it, it, I don't know, it was amazing. But I, I have you to thank for that experience. That's a really odd thing uh, uh, to thank <laughs> me for. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. But I am so I am so pumped that your YouTube channel is blowing up. Dude. I will experience this someday. Well, well and, and I am so it, like seven a thousand a day is crazy. Well, and, and here's here's the thing: is you you are doing everything right because what it wants is consistency of product. Every single one is the same. You see one of them because at some point one of these are going to blow up and they're going to be it's it's going to go super viral and that's that's what happened on this one. It looks like, uh, and as a result, just all of a sudden th- somebody says, "I love this," and they dive in the back catalog, and then you know all YouTube cares about is like, "Wow, they watch." Every single one to completion, and they they're binging, they're binging, and once it yeah. sees that, it, it it apparently rewards it very heavily. And and every new episode, I I get some of that where because Serenity definitely pushed uh, a lot of the other episodes, especially John Wick. John Wick is, seems to be exploding again. Uh, I see in the comments a lot of people are asking, uh, go to YouTube and type movies with Mikey, or just type movies space W because I'm the first one. Uh, yeah. Over movies with Zac Efron and movies with Selena Gomez, I'm above them. Watch oh, this. Suck Boom. it. Suck it. Boom. Movies with. Wow. Look get it. That. Get it where you live. Sorry, it. Kevin Other Hart. Movies. Sorry, The Rock. Sorry, subtitles. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, movies war. <laughs> sorry, where I'm movies saying, where actors actually did bad. it. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, right. movies so, where actors actually did it. I feel like that's so, gonna that's that's on the come up. You better watch your six on that one. If you, if you guys want to follow that Brian momentum and follow me as well, I promise you my product is also very good. Well, it is well, also minute, superior. Well, together, Brian but, and me it, are like a wine pairing with a with a beautiful uh, bruschetta. I, I like, if, I like if, if we're talking about things that blew up virally on Reddit, uh, uh, you had uh, that the, the Serenity thing blew up on our movies, which periodically uh, it uh, never happens. It's usually our videos that that oh, picks me is, up. Okay, like, yeah. Well, periodically you, you pull up, up on Reddit, me. and I'll follow uh, the link that you post in. I'm not and drinking I'm wine from the mug. <laughs> that uh, I'm immediately grateful that I only stick to subreddits that talk about things sanely and maturely, like politics, because people take right. movies seriously on Reddit. Holy crap, dude! I so here's here's the thing about, and this is true of YouTube comments. There is a subset of people. This is this is under five percent of of all people on Earth, and and they're not they're not commenting on everybody video, but when they do, 
They want you to know that they watched two minutes. Yeah. And they've judged your entire show. <laughs> and it's bad. You're just a rip off of Mr. Plinkett, which yeah. I get a lot. Like, like, well, a lot well, for and, you. And too. by the way, anytime someone says you're a rip off of blank, what they actually mean is the first time I have seen something of this style was this right. thing that came before. Because when Scam School came out, they're all like, what what a rip off of the real hustle. And I'm like, no, yeah. I'm ripping off Harry Anderson from the 1980s. Will you at least figure out, who, you know, and of course he's ripping off the, the, the con men from the 40s or whatever. But, but 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 we're talking like not even fundamentally. I well, I watched a couple of Plinka videos, and this guy made a voice that sounds like this sometimes, which is just uh, how I talk sometimes because it's funny. Well, it's, well, it's also up. what yeah. Justin did two minutes before bringing you right. on the show. But it's just a thing, and it's a YouTube thing, and whatever. Like Red, Red Letter Media didn't think of it, but to be like, you're just Mr. Plinkett because I watched two minutes, and it's like, first of all, Mr. Plinkett is a destructive show. I am a constructive show. These are fundamentally different things. Mine is about celebrating film, and theirs is about tearing it down. I love their show. Yeah, yeah. but, but uh, I, actually, I didn't love the Force Awakens video. I'm gonna be straight up. It I, was lazy, and it was hack, and it was uh, seven years. Because right. that's uh, my point. If you're coming at me and saying you're a ripoff of a show that didn't make an episode for seven fucking years, mm. like go home, mm. go find mm. an activity hey, uh, that let's, isn't what let, you're let, doing. Let me, let, let me just say this about that, that the Force Awakens video. And there is no bigger Plinkett fan than me. I have uh, Dude, my, my, I am my the wife biggest has Plinkett fan in the world. Me watching Did you watch the, the film? <laughs> Did you like, watch the film? <laughs> but God, is is there nobody who will point out the irony that the that the Mr. Plinkett character has now extended themselves into an unwanted sequel that is really only there to collect money? <laughs> Uh, that, you know what? I, I give Mike Stuckalasa – and by the way, I see everybody's kind of talking some, some shit in the comments. Yeah, I, I fired a shot. I think I think Red Letter Media is is the quintessential channel on YouTube. I adore it. I love it. Half of it the bag is great. I, I got to a point where I, I like half of the bag even more. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. And they're I am smart. Not they're firing really, really smart. I think they're, Mike they're, they're Stuckalasa is a writers. genius. But, but but you you after. you differ in opinion on well see the problem is there's two things there's a uh, uh, you differ in opinion with their analysis of the Force Awakens that's one beef the other is you have a beef with everybody who just watched thirty seconds of you and be like yeah it's a review about a Star Wars movie I've seen this it's a Plinket ripoff yeah it's, well it's it's like slurring and it's like if I wanted to do a Plinket you know impression I would you know it'd be like. Star Wars Episode Two was the worst movie since Star Wars Episode One. I actually can. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> you should really just respond. That, that, that it, ringtone just happened, didn't it? Bo I, uh, Bonnie which, has just forbidden me from in in audio clip to everybody who posts that like like. Oh, th thank you for your touch and criticism. <laughs> my web zone, if you want some more pizza rolls, I love all oh, of you. Goodbye. You guys, are, man, I just, I feel like our chances it's of like ever having him on the show. Time code, <laughs> everyone should just time code this episode to anybody on Reddit who compares him to Mr. Plinkett. Okay, all right, yeah. That, you just, have answered. Yeah. You now know I can do it, and it's not even close. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, so uh, at any rate, uh, it was a good review. That was the point of all this. Oh God, no! It's brilliant. I just had a lot. There's the, there's like five months of feelings in here. I haven't been on the show since before the election. Ah, uh, fundamentally with... different since I've been on the show last. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there anything else that do, do you like wanna... a cross between Plinkett and Stephen Hawking? Cool, cool <laughs> comment, guys. I... Thank. <laughs> A, a fictional character and a brilliant had a scientist. Nerve disease that that killed his motor function. It's hilarious. You nailed it. Dick. Hey, let's do a quiz. What do you What yeah, do you say we do a quiz? I have many emotions tonight. I'm starting fights with Pool Boy in the comments. It's not great. It's not great. I do like your name, Pool Boy, though. That's a cool name. He meant it out of love. He says in all caps. I, uh, it's really totally I, sincerely. Wasn't really starting. I, you know, I'm tr I, it, it, when you're trying to be funny, you hear a heckler and you, and you go. 
It's um, uh, do you, uh, are Zen, you guys Zen ready? the mattress pointing out the irony of me being the one to to call it off. <laughs> I, I I was I was being a a a, a big hungry bitch or whatever you said earlier. <laughs> a big baby uh, bitch. A baby. Whatever. Bitch. I like hungry. Um, although I don't <laughs> like the, I don't like the word bitch. But I like that's other, my favorite I brand. When of... guys call each other bitch, I think that's cool. Just no other context really floats my boat. Although anyway, my, my my favorite my favorite microwave dinner is hungry bitch. <laughs> that's fair. I that's love fair. that short rib hungry yeah. bitch dinner. So uh, as usual, I have my scoreboard. Um, I have uh, so the the new running thing is that uh, Brian just gets his name written down. And jury doesn't. I write a dumb name instead. <laughs> and I thought uh, Brian and Jummy was really okay, funny. I like Jummy. Jummy like is just, it's perfect. Bri Brian the Jums. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm a big Jummy bitch. Jummy? There's no, there's no coming back from that. Dude. Jummy. Uh, hey, so you know that we have Vegas odds on, yeah. on this show. Which, uh, by the way, is the weirdest thing that I like. Missoula hits me up every time we do this, and like an actual place in Vegas gives us Vegas odds. Yeah, so we, we, how crazy that is! We, there, there's action on two different bets. Uh, we've got the, I guess it says uh, the, uh, the the over under the, the spread is what one point five. Like I have to beat, you have to beat me by two to beat the spread to, to clear the spread. Yeah, or or the money I, line I, is I, you to do okay on this one. This one, this one might be up your your boat. I'm mm. mixing metaphors. Okay. And then, uh, and then, but also, there's total combined correct between the two of us, which I think is interesting. Did, did, did you give him the the quiz or just the topic ahead of time, Mikey? Sorry, what? Did I, Did you give him the questions or, or just the topic? I always it's only ever just the title of the quiz. Okay, That's all right, all right. To, to to do it. And and what is the title of the quiz? Uh, so uh, I I must ask Brian and Jummy, are you ready to play? Is that a real Guy Fieri menu item at Guy's American Kitchen and Bar? Oh no! And and by the way, just so we get this out of the way ahead of time, this is all time because the menu has calmed down uh, uh, substantially, actually, and I ain't playing that game at all. <laughs> so I actually found copies of the menus for the last like. Seven years oh, or however long it's been so open. I have good. all I have all of the PDFs. By the way, oh, Pool Boy God. is just quietly whimpering, saying, like, I really messed up. I insulted Mikey. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, Pool Boy, I I was just I was dinging you because you ding me. I think you're awesome. I think all the audience is awesome. Don't feel bad. I think you're Don't great. act like you're not taking joy in wilting Pool Boy, Mikey, with your with your radiance. <laughs> you you shine down from the hill and you have melted him. I'm drinking expensive wine out of a. It's not just wine; it's good wine <laughs> out, out of, of a mug. Damn, man, you're like the last five minutes of uh, that movie with Paul Giamatti. Uh, that was a Whataburger <laughs> cup. Anyway, <laughs> so we have to decide ready? if it's a real. A Feeling real... like pool boy the way I got dinged right there. All right, <laughs> the sideways so reference. For, for, for... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the the menu item title and then I'm gonna read the menu item description. Okay. And so, starting with Brian, you're gonna tell me if it's real or not. It'll go Brian, Jerry, yes, Brian. Yeah, yeah. So uh, like uh, jummy, do, jummy, like we always do. Uh, bri, 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 jump, jump. Um, and so if you're playing at home, it's uh, it's you can bet between me and Justin. But then also, what was the combined spread again? Um, uh, I think uh, twenty three and a half is the over under. Got it. Got it. Got it. I like I like the combined spread. That is a very cool new thing. All right. God. By the way, I'm in Vegas. Oh, I'm not in Vegas on Tuesday. Shh. I'm in Vegas from Thursday to Monday. Wait, this and I, week? I would have made a quiz and come back next week just to, just to bet money Dude, on uh, it. Well, Wait, Zulo, is that a conflict of interest? That's got to be illegal. You, I can't you, give a quiz. To make a on. quiz just and to collude with the gambling staff? It yeah, would be like, little bit, Brian, uh, what was your childhood's best friend name? I know we talked earlier. Like I could just be like, Brian, 15 out of 15. <laughs> Jury, zero out of 15. <laughs> I just, yeah, I probably can't bet on myself. That would be a very dumb thing uh, to allow. By, me to. by the way, you can't do better than than the ultimate insider. Benzulo will take uh, reach out to him while you're out in Vegas. He'll he'll show you the best time and the best deals. Oh yeah, Benzulo, I'm staying at Treasure Island. Uh, hit me up on DM. We'll talk. All right, all right, all right. Number one, hmm. ain't no thing but a chicken wing, hot wings served in Buffalo. Blue sabi sauce. 
which is tossed in jalapeno blue cheese buffalo hot sauce. Totally real. Totally real, because it starts off cliche and then g- goes on way too long, which is exactly probably why this game God, exists. If, that, if that's your logic, I want to tell you right now, you're about to get fucked. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I'm going to say totally this, real. This, this blue sabi? Blue quick. sabi. It's, blue it's sabi. way too long, so, so it's got to be real. Okay. Way too, so yeah. The thing. You, good luck with that logic. Just FYI. I do know he's got a thing for wasabi because I think that was one of his other restaurants was like Freddy's wasabi, wasabi or something. Texas wasabi was his Texas barbecue slash Japanese sushi fusion restaurant. Fusion and if restaurant. you're wondering, those two things don't go together because one is raw and one is smoked over like half a day. You'd be wrong because he did it. It's garbage, and it closed down, and it went bankrupt. Yeah. But Blue Sabi is the saddest Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Jummy, I need an answer, please. I'm gonna say yes. You are both correct. It is real. nailed it. Also, I, the... fe- I I suspected that the first question kind of had to be like a palate setter. You know, let us know. Yeah, no, what it's we're in a little for. bit. All right, uh, jury, we're starting with you. Number right. two. Veni Vidi Verde ribeye nachos. Come hungry if you want to see and conquer this monster stack of killer nachos. It all starts with Guy's signature coffee-rubbed ribeye cooked to a perfect medium rare. The meat is then blasted in seven different cheeses, including Monterey Jack and jalapeno cheddar, topped with sour cream, guacamole, pico de gallo, and the spiciest, the spiciest jalapeno green sauce this side of the border. All of his food is what your high friend makes and swears is good. And then nobody gets to eat because they've all fallen asleep. Uh, well, what's going to screw you up on this is I actually picked only his me- the most medium menu items. And I, 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 have, I have done very bad things. I will tell you that. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> very, oh, very bad things. Christ on a cracker. It's been a while. I wanted to. I wanted to set it's, some. You're some... punishing us. You're punishing <laughs> yeah, us for not having bit, you yeah. on in a couple months. I'm gonna say it's fake. I'm gonna say it's fake. Uh, definitely fake. Too high brow for Guy Fieri, and I don't think he hires anyone in, on his staff. Who who if if somebody on his staff brought that to him, he would he would he would crumple it up and eat it and okay, then shit hey, it out and right, then throw right, it in right, his right, face. Right. You're 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 correct, but Brian, I just want you to point out the two questions in a row you have lo- used the most fallacious logic. I that look will I don't care you. if I'm right for the wrong reasons. I can be right for the wrong you, reasons. You're right for the right yes. Correct. All the way to the bank. Yeah, By I, the way, you're, the, what, you're, what, what, you're right on those questions. I'm just what, saying what, it's going to get real bad. I believe you. Buckle up, sweetheart. What? It's it's This is going to be a thing. Uh, I will say that what Both tipped me you. off on that one was coffee rubbed ribeye. Not even him. Not even him would, would rub his ribeye in coffee. Thank you. Thank you. That was the tell. Oh, so that you was... have tells built in. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Mm. I, I always, yes. But uh, I don't. I, he pointed it out specifically. Because I, I wanted it to be a weird – you would never do a coffee rub with a nacho. Are you kidding? Yeah, I don't know. But, mm-hmm. but just the back of your brain's like, but Guy Fieri might. <laughs> Maybe. But he might. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Ryu Plains Walker says that Bobby Flay's done it. Bobby Flay's done the coffee rub ribeye, but not in nachos. Yeah, that's that's the point. I did steal it from Flay. Good, good eye. Good eye. Yeah. Number I three, we are starting with Brian. Yep. Uh, number three. The onion chicken ciabatta. I want to. Okay, can you very... can you spell it? Yes, the onion is spelled U N Y A W N, as in onion. <laughs> like like your your dad's onions be asleep. <laughs> onion, yep. got it. This is a wake them up. <laughs> it's a grilled Cajun <laughs> chicken breast slathered in donkey sauce. <sighs> Wine from a mug. <laughs> Donkey sauce. The I'm, don't get sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's real. Young. I'm gonna say it's real because uh, because donkey sauce sounds so awful that I believe it. I know that he does. Donkey sauce is a thing that he does. That's that is a thing. The question is whether or did not until this question is over. The donkey sauce is a thing he does. 
the question is uh, uh, whether or not the onion is indeed correct, for which I'm going to differ from you, Brian. Oh. And say that it's fake. It is real. Ah! <laughs> yes. Um, I will tell you. No, actually, I won't. I was going to give you a, a, a free hint, and I decided against it. No, I want you... this to be as painful and uncomfortable as possible because we're only three into 15. I'm like so that. All right, come on. Up. Let's go. I'm like, I'm I'm like that three-year-old that sits down next to the 16-year-old playing Sega Genesis, playing Street Fighter 2, and I'm just mashing the buttons and beating him, getting him so mad. I, I right. So what one thing that I think is important about this quiz is that the more you know about Guy Fieri and his menus and his trademarks and his copyrights, the worse you'll do. Yeah. Because I am I'm intimately woods. familiar with Guy Fieri. So there is some real traps in this menu. Because you're like, I've heard of donkey sauce. Yeah, no shit. That's <laughs> level one. Donkey sauce is the barbecue sauce at the restaurant. Like I said, I can win Catch for all them. the wrong reasons, and I'm okay with yeah. it. Yeah, you think that's the last time donkey sauce shows up on this menu? <laughs> like I said, buckle up. <laughs> Number right. four, which starts with jury. Mm -hmm. Six shooters for a terrible two. Bring a friend, because these chili shooters will start off an unforgettable night. Get the chance to try all three of our in-house chilies. Dragon's Breath Chili, Smoked Out Brisket Bomb, and the tie-infused Dynamite Chili in collectible shot glasses only available with this menu item. <sighs> Fuck me. Uh, that's real. It's not real. It is not real. <laughs> so, so one of the, he, the... By the way, on the menu, there is only the one chili. I made up the other two. A dragon's breath chili is his chili. And that's what I'm saying. I am layering in real stuff. <laughs> you are, I mean, listen, this is, Brian, this is you the are, most you diabolical right quiz you have ever given us, Mikey. This Wait, is what? This is next level. This is uh, the, 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 the artisans you, of the You of have not Rome. heard anything yet. <laughs> Ready. That, those were the warm ups. This All is right. evil. Let's go. Let's go. Go, Bring go, it. go. Number Layer five, starting with Brian. Excuse me, silence from the peanut gallery. Number five, sashimi wan tacos. Everyone's every yeah, everyone's fave because they're wicked tasty. Sashimi grade ahi and serious mango jicama salsa are packed into wonton taco shells drizzled with wasabi cream. You know, I could start a, a no. one-man show on Broadway where I just read Guy Fieri's man. I'm, I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to say it's real. It's real, and I need it. This quiz has broken me. This, <laughs> this is jury meltdown. This is amazing. God, the comments are going go. crazy. Also, Tensor Guy points for 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 spelling hickama correctly in the comments i just want you to know that i noticed jury i need an answer it's fake it's real oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is the greatest night of my life brian you're oh. five for five right now oh this is god. unprecedented oh my god right brian is crushing Ooh. it right so good. <laughs> Justin's, uh, Justin's got his own coffee mug pouring his own expensive I wine into this it. This anymore. I'm going to have to go get my bottle. He's, All he's, right. He's, uh, he's trying to match Mikey's uh, uh, brain patterns. To beat him, I must become I him. Got <laughs> the, on lock right now. Jummy, you got to pick it up. But Jummy, you going first on this. Number six. The mouth will rise again. You'll be... You'll be whistling Dixie when you try Guy's signature chicken sandwich. This southern behemoth comes packed with all the roast beef, slow-smoked turkey, fried chicken smothered in our cinnamon apple jam, and it's all between two made-from-scratch waffles from Guy's mama's own recipe, all topped with our signature jalapeno maple bacon syrup. <laughs> The mouth will rise again. I can't 
can't even talk through it. Like, I don't even know what to grab onto. I'm sliding down the face like, of this that mountain. That's really good, though. I'm just grabbing at shrubs. <laughs> I can't make my hair. It's fake. Not... It's fake. It's fake. It's, okay. It's fake. Uh, It is fake. You are correct. Mm. Mm, mm, Brian's mm. just gonna game me the rest of this. No, no, uh, it's 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 fake because um, the tiles uh, too. Well, yeah. because you mentioned it's seven years of um, uh, of menus, and I want to say it was six years the ago. Civil War was only two years ago. It, no, 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 no. It's six years ago that that Paula Dean so famously uh, was branded a racist, oh. and I would think that uh, Guy Fieri would probably not put a pro Confederate. Item on the menu. Maybe, the, maybe before. You're factually wrong. What? You're factually wrong. Okay. All right. Look. The told reason you. I did this is because there was. And two, <laughs> I just said seven because I don't know when it started. That's fine. You again continue to be correct I can... for <laughs> utterly fallacious reasons. It's fine. It's fine. This is amazing. Yeah, By this the way, is Rain yeah, Man. There's, there's, I have no idea. Very. I am no. lost. So Rain Man, Man knew I'm, what he was doing. I'm not even Rain Man. I'm Baby's Day Out. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm Man. I'm that toddler that just walks anywhere and everything goes right and the, the kidnapper has killed themselves. I'm, I'm just yeah. Jack Nicholson in the hedge maze. Like I'm... <laughs> Brian is six for six. Jummy is three for six. We're on number seven, starting with Brian. Italian fondue dippers. Pepperoni wrapped breadstick twist served alongside our smoky provolone and spinach cheese dip topped with fresh tomato bruschetta or bruschetta if you're uh, on the food note and you are bored. I, I, I'm going to say it's real, but I'm not going to say why until after Justin answers. Because I'll tell you you're wrong. For yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Justin. What? Just give me the title again. Uh, Wait, what did I, I say? Did I say I Italian fondue dippers? Fake. What did I say? Did uh, I say real or fake? You said real. Yeah, said real. I actually it's meant real. fake. Do you Mine is to... seven for seven. It is real. Oh, well then. He, good. he, he did it the wrong way! <laughs> he said the wrong <laughs> way! And he did it right! I right. hate you! How are you doing? I no, 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 I did, I did, I, uh, uh, yeah. You're losing your shit. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh my said... god, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm not even playing. Because, <laughs> because. You can't handle the second half of this list, dog. It's not, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna sting, and bad things are gonna happen to you. This is the last again, episode the of the show. The first half is the easy <laughs> part. The show. It gets you and me are done professionally. <sighs> It is seven to three. <laughs> uh, we are on number eight, starting with jury, Justin. Number eight. Rango's Hawaiian Adventure Salad. That's right. We've teamed up with the upcoming film Rango to bring you the best salad. This side of the border. Crispy Parmesan onion strings, chopped romaine lettuce, and juicy cinnamon pineapples all topped with our signature sweet Mai Tai onion glaze. Rango! Rango! The Johnny Depp voice lizard movie Rango! You've gone too far, Mikey! You've gone too far! You might think this is fun and games! You've gone too far this time! It was a Gore Vavinsky movie and it was very good. It was! It was, it was a great good. movie! I don't want to hear it. I liked it better when it was called Fievel Goes West. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well played. Uh, what? Oh, did he do a crossover, a branded menu item? I feel so powerful. <laughs> you make me feel like a god when I come on the show. It's I fake! I love you guys. It's fake! Okay, Jummy's, <clears throat> Jummy's guess is fake? Uh, yeah, it's fake because... Um... If Rango had engaged in that level of marketing, it would have done much better at the box office. It is fake. Um, <laughs> I, th I think I got too close to the sun on Rango, but I couldn't not do it. I couldn't not. Because I tested this on people at lunch today. 
And, right, uh, Rango. Rango was a good pull. It it just uh, yeah, I I it was too I, good I, of a, it, it was too good of a movie, and it that didn't do as well know, as it should. You know what's funny. So we talked about tells earlier. We talked about tells, mm-hmm. and I have designed for you the perfect Hawaiian salad, and I've tested this now on seven people, <laughs> and not one of the people stopped and said. Rango wasn't in Hawaii. <laughs> Use your ears, guys. Yeah. No. It's right there. Makes sense. Oh, it's oh, right I'm there. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the leap of logic that Guy Fieri dares not cross. <laughs> no, no, no. That's his river stick. That's 100%. He can never exactly make a Hawaiian dish for right. Rango. <laughs> oh. Oh. God, People are saying best, maybe best. if it was called the Rango Mango Tango, then we'd believe it. Uh, number nine starts with Brian. Brian again is eight for eight right now. Mm. So I, I, jury, I love you to death, but we we gotta cheer for the perfect game here. <laughs> we we gotta <laughs> we gotta start to talk about a perfect game. It's not possible. It's not possible. It's, I by the way, it's it's not. And but... also, by the way, Justin, not for nothing, but we had a chance to beat the spread on our combined efforts, and it's just not looking good right now. <laughs> yeah, pull your weight, Justin. Yeah, will, you, will you please? <laughs> I mean, I want us to win as That's a team. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Against Mikey. <laughs> yeah, if you don't beat the spread, I guess I win. <laughs> please, All right. please number... just indulge me this, Justin. Excuse me. Excuse me, fellas. Number nine. Yep. Number nine. All right. <clears throat> Starts with Brian. Brothers, badass Caesar salad. Chopped romaine lettuce, croutons, lots of Parmesan tea- cheese, plus Guy Fieri's Favorite Caesar dressing are loaded into a crisp, garlicky mega crouton. Uh, and I want to point out this, uh, in case you didn't catch it, this is a a Caesar salad served in, in a, a giant, giant crouton, crouton yeah. with croutons in it. Uh, real quick, can you spell the the, na- the the name? How is brothers spelled? I tested this on people earlier. They asked me the same question. Yeah. Brother. Is spelled B R U T H A S. Oh, the, oh real, so real, 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 real as rain. Jury. I have no choice but to go fake. I have to play against Brian. I mean, You're wrong. You're playing uh, against it us. It is real. It is real. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brian, the second Brian asked for the spelling, I knew he knew what was up. <laughs> <But> that's <laughs> what happened to me earlier. Somebody asked me that, and the second I said it, they're like, oh, that's real. Because <laughs> no one else would would name a menu item brother with a U and an A that is not a dumb white guy who <laughs> dyes his goatee. Insensitive, yeah. 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 You got you to gotta be real oh, dumb. Oh, no, 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 no. There's one man. <laughs> one man speaks to the soul of Guy Fieri. <laughs> what? Maybe, you know what it is? It's, it's because I used to have the, hair. the hair. Oh, my I, God. I know how to think like oh, Guy Fieri. True. I used to be him. <laughs> and so oh, as God, a result. Way, pool boy. Pool boy now taking shots at me. Who's Wilton <laughs> now? Says pool boy. <laughs> the new co-host of Night Attack will be Mike <laughs> New. Jerry has been Ryan and new. pool boy coming That's to you oh. this, uh, this winter. Um. <clears throat> All right. Night attack with Brian and Mikey. All right, uh, number ten, which goes to jury first. <laughs> the mayor of Flavor Town Burger, the meat blanket of seasoned pastrami, sends this burger out of bounds. Swiss caraway seeds, dill pickles, onion straws, Dijon mustard, on an awesome pretzel bun. Finish, finish off. This bad boy. The quotations are in the menu, by the way. What's the name of it again? The Mayor of Flavortown Burger. (laughs) It's real. Uh, It's too tame. It's fake. If it, it would be called, it would be called uh, the meat blanket or meat curtains, the the burger. Mm, I just sort of caught myself trying to pick up my pen. Um, Brian, you're wrong. No! 
Oh, yes! You don't know Flavortown? That's like his thing. I know. But for the first time, you were wrong based on fallacious information. Yeah. As opposed to right based on fallacious Fine. Information. Look, I'm full of the fallacious. Where are we at? How many more, how many more questions? Uh, that was ten, so five more. Five more. I got to run so, the table. It is, it is possible. Brian's got a really... He's got a, a very impressive lead. A side <laughs> lead. Yeah, you got... This, you got Actually, it, jury. Even uh, if you run you, the table, you don't you you don't beat the spread. You get five in a row, and Brian no. has to miss five in a row. I just need to be in contention. If you can tie, I'm going through a journey five, right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, number eleven, which goes to Brian, the tatted up turkey burger. This burger is a work of art, like guys' tattoos, smash grilled with poblanos and sour cream, topped with gouda. Ancho bacon, sweet pepper, red onion jam, donkey sauce, served on an awesome pretzel bun. <laughs> is everything going to have an awesome pretzel bun? I, yeah, like four well, things. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to say it is fake just because I, I feel like, and again, this is wrong, but I'm, I'm in Guy Fieri's mind. They're coming over, he's like tatted up, and then he reads and they display the whole thing. It was like... <clears throat> Yeah, but but like if we're gonna tat it up, we should like draw tattoos on the turkey with like food coloring or something. It should actually be tattooed. So I'm gonna say that's fake. Tattoo the turkey's got it. Yeah, Jerry. it's real. It is real. Oh damn! Oh, it's oh, coming oh, true. You can feel because it, Brian. that's that's the other part of this is that I right, thought for right. sure. Do you have the you, natural music? You can wouldn't you play the natural music right you now. You wouldn't give. You wouldn't, I did not think you would give us, and I should have known that you would. You, yeah, yeah. Now you're realizing, wait, what level you gave is Mikey us playing two, this game on? Oh, you gave us way two the one real we items, and you used the quote awesome pretzel bun on both, which I thought yep. for sure you would have mixed it up. Oh, because mm. I knew you would have thought that. Play on my level, bro. All right. <laughs> Number 12. Going to Jummy first. I Am I hearing the natural now? Yes, did you did. Sort of, yes, you did. That's awesome. Jummy. Number yeah. 12. Donkey soup. We start with the best, most mouth-watering barbecue sauce around Guy Fieri's donkey sauce as a base, and we build one of the heartiest soups around. Brisket, okra, onions, and corn all drowning in the best broth you will ever taste. Comments are freaking out. Don't ever say donkey cream again, pool boy. <laughs> oh, it's pool boy again. I called you out twice, dog. <laughs> Man, it was donkey sauce that uh, that got uh, that ended fear factor. I, got, I have weaponized donkey sauce. It does not mean real or fake. I have used it against you. That's all you need to know about donkey sauce. No, the question now is whether or not Guy Fieri would understand that his donkey sauce, ridiculously named barbecue sauce, was such a powerful brand that the he could sell The most famous thing on the it. menu at the restaurant, go on. It's fake. Brian. Yeah, I also say it's fake. It is fake. Correct. Cow. Oh, that's I, been, that's I'm sorry, should I go against time. my my nearly impeccable instinct, sir? Well, oh, actually, Brian, your instinct should be saying, say whatever jury says, because then... Those were me. the exact instincts I was talking about. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, number 13 goes to Brian. All right. Number 13, Fireball Whiskey Wings. These wings are certainly not for the faint of heart and should probably be illegal. Classic buffalo sauce plus fireball whiskey meet to ignite a flavored explosion of epic proportions. Try Guy's Blue Sabi Sauce to put out that fire. It's fake because it's too on the nose as like... What's a shittier version of Jack Daniel's sauce? <laughs> Fireball sauce. That's something Guy Fieri would do. I'm, I'm thinking that's fake, fake, fake. Have you seen that nose? Real as rain. Jury takes it down. Duh! Oh, it's getting close. There are, mm. two, are two behind and there are two questions left. You guys can, can, I, can tie can I, it. Hey, wait, hold on. Piece. 
Can, You're going to miss request, the spread, though. No, you cannot request a change of the rules to increase your chances to win, Justin. You don't Blind get to pause answering. the game. Blind and- answering. We are on number 14, which goes to Justin. Wait, no. Did we start with Justin on that one? Uh, no. He has Justin Brian. has evens. Oh, no, the, yeah. The, yeah, Brian, that was I went, I went first, Justin. Wrong first. Which, okay. Yeah, you could tell Justin's number, about to go first yeah. because he paused the game to ask if we could pretty please change the rules of the game. Of how we answer. Okay, I mean, don't dance on his grave, Brian. <laughs> you, got, you, no, you don't understand. Seven pretty, years. Okay. Seven years. And you guys missed this spread, day so has been sitting. waiting for me for seven years. Number 14. Justin Robert Young. Yeah, seven go ahead. Years. Seven years, pa- bitch. Excuse me. Sorry. Seven year bitch. <laughs> 14. Parmageddon wings are breaded chicken Parmesan wings plus apocalyptic marinara. They might not end the world, but they'll end your hunger. You're a genius for this one, Mike. They're going crazy for this one, Rick. <laughs> God, the comments are like losing their minds. <laughs> Please let it be fake. They're saying they're like, backing. like, I don't want to live in a place where this no. is real. <laughs> it's real. Boy, boy I, I got you. Uh, um, Justin is saying real. Yeah. I thought about it real hard. And then there was this moment when I just had this flash. It was like a voice in my ear oh, God. <laughs> said, it's real. And so I'm going to say it's real. Oh, game God, theory you're such a piece of shit. <laughs> It is real. Yeah. Hey, God we're it, winning. I this game. I just got the frequency, you fucker. We're winning. <laughs> Justin, I just want you to know, keep playing the natural music as I explained <laughs> this last one, by the way. Because, Justin, I, d- I didn't want to tell you earlier that you were going to lose. And here's why. You will you will understand why you're always going to lose by one point as I read number 15. All right. Number 15, which starts with Brian. Hey, r- real quick, is it even possible for Justin and I to beat the spread at this point? I, uh, no, it's no, 9 no. and 11. You're 20. No, because you, the best you can do is 22. And you're, this truly you're going, is a way, 9-11 scenario. You're both going to get this one right. <laughs> Uh, all right, number fifteen. Bait crime. <laughs> Sorry. Bait crime. This badass bass is served tooth to tail on our on one gigantic mother truck and plate that'll send your neighbors running for the elbow room. We sm- we slow smoke this bad boy in gentle reclaimed sandalwood we've collected from old boats people abandoned by the creek near our drug dealer's house. But we didn't stop there. On top of this aquatic masterpiece of smoke and drug-addled drug insomnia is 42 mint condition, still in the box, chicken fries from the Burger King around the corner, all nestled under a warm, comforting blanket of dragon's breath chili and a bed of old cheddar cheese my wife left me in the divorce. <laughs> Friends, if you wish to have any chance of taming this beast. Oh, man. So the score... I can't decide which would be the bigger dick move to get it right or to get it wrong. Getting it wrong is the <laughs> dick move because it'll be 11 to 10. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I don't want to be a jerk to you, Justin. I say this is fake. Uh, interesting guess. <laughs> uh, Brian, I also believe it's fake. Interesting. Uh, you were both correct. That was not real. <laughs> so um, close. So close. You were 1.5 under the spread, Ugh. which which means I had a great quiz. Uh, I hey, raise your that hand was, if, hey, uh, hey, if everybody, if you're a please. Winner. Round of applause for Brian. Round of applause for Mikey. Oh my God, that was that was uh, 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 Soderbergh in his prime. Uh, could not tell a, a journey the likes of which I've just gone on. <laughs> the people are calling me in the chat fallacious crumb. <laughs> From it. That, that's a very uh, Charles Dickens-esque. Oh, man. Uh, 
That's amazing. Dude, uh, Mikey. Here's to Mikey. Raise a glass. Raise raise a mug filled raise with fine mug, wine. Raise, raise a, a wine mug, mug of wine to this guy. <laughs> mm. Oh, I do like fallacious crumb for the name of this episode already. <laughs> Uh, dude, you know, I still have like adrenaline surging <laughs> through me, like from I that felt quiz. Bad I... four questions in because I was like, "Is he okay? <laughs> is he gonna be? Is he? Do we need to find an adult?" There, uh, after I, I hope I'm not talking out of school here, but uh, Justin was on a winning team a lot at Nerdtacular, and then this year uh, we were on a team together, and he didn't win, and and uh, he was a bit fired up, and I had to explain, Justin. The only way we ever get to play the game again is if it remains fun for everyone. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like you got you got to dial it back. Did, I, like, did ah, I push yeah, too yeah. hard? Did I? Did I? Did I? He's very competitive. Right. Justin's you want, very you competitive. Want, you, want, you want to bring it up? All right, I'll bring it up. So at Nerdtacular, uh, <laughs> there is uh, which. Uh, 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 by the way, Mikey, you need to uh, uh, come to uh, uh, this year because yes. you uh, totally fit in. It'd be great. Um, there, there's always a quiz thing, and I had won two times previously. Stop That's it. That's going to haunt my dream. <laughs> it's uh, a Photoshop of Justin with Guy Fieri's face. It just looks too real is the problem. <laughs> it's really scary. So good. It's really terrifying. You look like you just got rejected from Top Chef. That's what that looks like. <laughs> That's why he's so happy. <laughs> he's yeah. like, I'm out of here. Fuck this thing. I look like the Season newly 14, elected president of Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so I don't know. For whatever reason, the quiz master decided to ask. Uh, 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 the, one of the, the the sections was about Letterman bits, right? Except That's on the other team was a writer for Letterman. Yeah, that's not that new new quiz. Yeah, like that, well, they they right? didn't know during the thing, and it kind of came out afterwards. It's like, yeah, well, I used to write for Letterman, so that was a pretty easy thing. Why wouldn't you mention that direct? Like, right? Mm. So that's I mean, why if, I was, if, that's if why I, was I sat hot down, under the collar. jury, jury. So I guess this straight, is an inappropriate up, time hey, 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 hey. to say jury, that I used to I write menus for Guy you. Fieri <laughs> <laughs> on a quiz, and somebody said I, Borderlands trivia. The onus is on me to be like, hang on, <laughs> I wrote that, so maybe yeah. let's not. Yeah quiz me on that like that that's on that there's a moral imperative for the person on stage to say no <laughs> i'm uh, on your side justin all yeah. right look uh, Mikey, let's i appreciate it let's stop being so competitive let's all come together on the same page here and celebrate the movie draft minute Welcome to Move Drive Minute presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of November 28th, 2016. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. Well, you look at that. Everyone's on the board. Awesome. Let's go check the scoreboard to see how everyone's doing. Mikey Newman's in sixth place with Bad Santa 2 bringing in $9.5 million a week. <laughs> Brian Bush is in fifth place with $63.2 million. Milongo AE is in fourth place. Moena bringing in $84.4 million. Team DTNS is in third place with $135.7 million. Chrissy Gates is in second place with $215.6 million. And in first place with Allied bringing in $18.6 million. We bring his total to $258.9 million. It's Justin Robert Young. And we that is that. your Move Drive Minute for the week of November 28th, 2016. La La Land and the Great Wall. How you feeling about him, Justin? Pretty terrible. I'm going to crotch chop all I can. <laughs> crotch chop like nobody's watching. So uh, none of my uh, movies have come out yet, right? What? No, like, that, no. Bad Santa 2 definitely premiered that at was, nine. That was a, I paid like a dollar for that. That's not a, one of my actual movies. Uh, well, Right? That's how, just how the one that. did you spend? He paid uh, $6 for it. Okay. It is, Six. Oh. It is now the number nine movie in the draft. As far as the ratio goes, although by the way, we, we we have now seen what the initial projections for the opening weekend of Rogue One is going to be, which is certainly enough to crush the competition, but yeah, not all, Force all other movies, and the, it's over. It's but. it's not it's not Force Awakens money. What 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 is it projected at? It, it's tracking at like a hundred and fifty in 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 pre sales, which oh, is gigantic. Shit. Well, well, because because I mean I mean that that is that that's great, uh, 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 but like. It occurs to me that we might um, – when we were talking about this yesterday on Cord Killers, it occurred to me that uh, that um, Logan 
is the real wild card in this whole thing because Logan is so late that it's almost the first summer movie. And yeah. it could be big enough that it would uh, make a lot of money because it's also going to be the last of an era and they're probably going to try to make it good because it looks like The Last of Us. Can I make one suggestion for the next summer draft? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I guess yeah. it's next winter draft. Uh, just, just pull episode eight out. Don't even put it up because episode eight, whoever wins it, whoever gets to a hundred first. So it basically oh. we'll, we'll, we'll bid on 30 movies all waiting for one. Oh no, no, so no, no, no. Whoever wait, wait, get that yeah, wait, this is, this is, this is what we did for seven, uh, two years ago. Right. We, right. Last year. What we did is once it bids up, on that. once it bids up to a hundred, then you, you are bidding down the percentage of the total that you are buying for that hundred. So and, the, it, and it was first in the that's draft. That's very clever. But then everyone's just bidding a hundred. It's still sort oh, wait, of. No, it's also also first in the draft. So it's like let's yeah. have it so, on the so table. Basically, so 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 you determine who so, is willing to have this be their only in movie. In fact, I lost. I came in, I think, second, um, but with, by taking what was it, eighty percent of the box office. It yeah. was yeah. it was close. It was still very you're, very you're, competitive. You're still building your entire draft around one film. You're well, actually building one, it around one person it even does. More. One person does, but there's always somebody who no, because more than one person is betting past a hundred percent to cause the but, number to go down. But they don't right? get like, it. Yeah, that they don't get it though. Right? It's a game of chicken. Only one person gets it, and by the time I got it, it ended up being an albatross. It ended up being I a think, bad I idea, and I lost because me, of it. But all right. <clears throat> so and yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 the system. You're worked. also taking one of your players out. Immediately, which is Wait, Brian it, was thrilled. I have never seen Brian happier at a movie draft than when he got seventy five percent of episode seven because there was a did, good. Did he win? I, I it was it was close. Came second came close. It was close. You did not win. Okay, did that actually win. the system that works. Informs my opinion. All right. Yeah. It okay. was it okay. was up you to did, the minute close. Win. It that was is a, it was final days close. Yeah. It was it was just like a, like a, and in fact it was it it was the fall off. It was the underperformance of the movie that failed. It wasn't even like we ran out of time. It's that it was just making not enough money fast enough as the thirty right. day window closed. Episode seven underperformed. Yeah. Continue telling exactly. me about it. It was this. only the highest grossing movie of all time. <laughs> of, I'm talking yeah. about in stuff that matters, like the draft, right? It made Avatar look like whatever movie I have. Uh, <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, eight dollars or whatever. Justin, you want to do a little diamond time? Indeed, I do. Diamond time is where you can shout out your own projects. Just go ahead on over to diamondclub.reddit.com. There is a sticky post right at the top. Uh, of uh, it's it's not the uh, flaming shot submission, <laughs> which is now a, a staple on the uh, Reddit, but now uh, uh, there, right there in green, man. Go ahead and check it out. Our first is Perfect Face for Radio, who writes, "Hey, Diamond Club family." trying to boost the signal a bit for a Marine, a racer, and an all-around great guy, Kenny Smith. You can go to twitter.com slash UMC Kenny uh, SGT, so Kenny Sargent, or uh, bit.ly slash YOLO420 dash racing dash Marine. Kenny's a U.S. Marine veteran who served in the Gulf War. He's a self-funded racer seeking sponsorship and trying to raise awareness for PTSD. Kenny competes in the International Motor Contest Association Sports Compact Division, and it's hoping to expand his small team to a second car, which his wife will drive in 2017. If anyone in the Diamond Club family would like to, Ken accepts sponsorships of any amount. If you have a small business in Iowa, Ken will be a great representative for your company. If you're a big fan of racing or you just want to support Ken, he accepts fan sponsorships as well. He's active on Twitter and engages with his fans. One of his fans has established a GoFundMe campaign to help offset some of the recent unexpected non-racing expenses. If you care to contribute, uh, I know he'd appreciate it. It is bit.ly slash YOLO420.com or YOLO420-Kenny Fund. If you've read this uh, far, I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me try to boost the signal a bit for Kenny. Showdan Kid says, what is up, Diamond Group? I'm working with a company that's trying to bring smart art to downtown Huntsville in the form of these sweet-ass Force, perspe force perspective murals. They've already completed work on one, an underwater view of a koi pond with a giant fish swimming down the street. It looks gorgeous, spanning 100 feet long and 20 feet high at its highest point. Um, oh, this is a, this is that great stuff where like you stand in the right spot and you take a photo and it looks like it's just coming out right at you, right? Yep. 
Uh, and then the uh, uh, let's uh, burr, 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 I should have not lost my place. Um, they received a grant from the city, but the amount didn't even cover the cost of materials and supplies for this one mural alone, let alone the several others that they have planned. The hope is to ease out uh, ease how much out of pocket expenses they have. So they've set up a GoFundMe to help cover the cost to do some more bitchin' art to decorate downtown Huntsville. Huntsville's a pretty rad community there. There's some really smart people and super talented creatives doing awesome things. In fact, some of them volunteered to paint the mural. Most of the projects Huntsville has been contracting are being outsourced to companies outside of Huntsville. So the hope is with these projects, they can inspire and invigorate other locals to contribute their own ideas. Please, if you have any soul left, they're just hoping to spend as little out-of-pocket money as necessary to get more work done. You can find their GoFundMe at bit.ly slash YOLO 420 Mural Swag. And you can see hey, the mural. I got a hell of a video here. Uh, the, the murals at bit.ly uh, slash YOLO 420 Koi Pond Swag. And then they have the company and everything they do at redbrickstrategies.com. Dude, Huntsville coming up. California Carl who is the all-star of today's episode, says, Hello, chat realm. Holidays are here again, and so it's once again time to remind jury to buy... Oh, wait, that was last year. I guess I have to do something else. One of the things uh, we do every year is send hol holiday-related cards to friends, relatives, and other people who we've barely seen. Instead of sending them cards, why don't you send a card to somebody from chat realm? I'm building a list of people who are interested in exchanging cards. You'll get an address of a random chat realm member, and somebody else will get yours. If you aren't comfortable giving out the address, you can use a work address or a neighbor's, or no, you can't use my address. Uh, visit YOLO420.com slash beard swag to sign up. Happy holiday mass Kwanzaa-bration. Uh, hey, one extra thing I want to throw out there is just a, a heartfelt thank you to everybody who bought anything from either Justin or I. Like, that's, what a weird way to do business, to like try to make a little money on donations, and but then also try to provide something of value that makes life fun and interesting for you, you know, with our horseshit stores um it was it was really a special time of year to 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 know that we're salient for for another year yeah and and you know to that point uh, uh one of the reasons why i i did the, the the sticker packs uh the way that i did this year was uh uh hoping that you know i, I know there are some people that buy uh, a, a few of the sticker packs and everything but uh, just giving everybody a chance to uh to buy one for somebody else in chat room uh especially listen i i know that for the rest of my life, at every live show and uh, 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 convention that we ever do, I'm just going to have a point where I walk up to the bar and I just give them my credit card and I just direct people to the go get drinks that they are uh, 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 cashing in from the jury buys you a drink token that comes along with the holiday pack. So uh, feel free to go ahead and do that. Stickers are D-I-A-F, uh, it not only supports us, but also can bring a smile to uh, another member of chat room's face that either doesn't have the money or the inclination to uh, have a bunch of random diamond club swag. Another Brian in the chat says, instead of sending a card to your family, send a card game to your family. <laughs> like or that. Uh, uh, yeah, no, man. Uh, geez. Uh, the contender. What a, what a weird, what a weird, weird, wild stuff. <laughs> hey, Mikey Newman, where can we see yeah. and hear so much more of your beautiful face and voice? Uh, you guys, if you, if you want to, to hear more of me, it would, it would make me so happy if you guys went to moviesofmikey.com, picked an episode, clicked through, subscribed, did all that. Like I've, I've been swinging at this for so long and I cannot <laughs> break through <laughs> and I don't know what it is. Well, and it's, um, it's fantastic stuff. Every I single one of them. it's too much like Mr. Plankett. I guess that's just <laughs> what I'm doing. It's just not working. And by the way, that that whole website uh, actually like restructures itself based on tablets, based on computer, based on phone. It's gorgeous. It it and and it's just my show. Like there's nothing else. Like literally, there's nothing else on my website. Here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna tweet it out right now. Please, uh, if you would go to moviesandmikey.com, crash it. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I dare well, you. Maybe I do. I don't know. Like it, it, <laughs> it was like crashing. Crash. All of a sudden, a DDoS attack starts coming in, and you're like, you "No, know what? Not like you that. Know, I, I had a, uh, I, I self-hosted a blog once, and Neil Gaiman blew it up, and I thought that'll crash it, and it mm -hmm. didn't. And I was like, so I can sustain this, and then, and then Edgar Wright crashed it like three times. 
Oh, really? And I was like, and Edgar Wright at the time was like 120,000 followers. Like he was, he was actually pretty small, um, compared to Neil Gaiman. Like I, yeah, th- those are both titans in my eyes. Like don't get me like sideways, but right, I remember that being very odd that Neil Gaiman's three million followers did not crash my website, and Edgar Wright's 120,000 did. And that tells hey, you way, who is following uh, those people. What well, what is this website, man? Like, did you do this yourself? The uh, the movies of Mikey. Uh, yeah. No, I I I. Wow, that looked like Zac Efron me flinging my hair there. Uh, I uh, hooked up with a guy named Jordan, and he built this website for me based on what I basically asked for. He did the tilts and stuff that are amazing, but. Yeah, I no, said, this is I, like I the want only... a very I want a, a featured movie up top that's larger than the other ones and I want everything to randomly assign. So every time you reload my website, all of those positions change. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh and what's funny is you can't you can't bot email me because one of those buttons is my contact button. So you do have to be looking for it. Though I continue to get emails where people are like, I thought this was about the movie Contact. <laughs> which is which is sad it's just contact me but you know all right here's what I, i'm tweeting right now uh movies with mikey.com is the best site on the planet pick a movie you love and you'll learn how to love it so much more let's is, see what happens that's the, the, very it's interesting not crash <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> is it really you think no 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 uh but uh look man uh, thank you so much for joining us. We we got to have you on more often. We say, we say every month and then we forget to call and then I finally call and you're like, yes, finally, let me crush Jummy with I my think, insane I think fear Jummy and can magic. attest that the break hurt him. <laughs> and I think that's worth doing again. I rebounded. So, I rebounded. You did. You It was 12 to 10. You you got it very close because it was like 8 to 3 at one point. So it was, it, was. it was. I was getting my ass kicked. I rallied enough that Brian went full game theory. <laughs> <laughs> man, that was, that was a journey, man. And uh, That was. No, well, I'll never be the same, man. I, I feel like that there's there, I've grown as a man. I've grown as a as a competitor. Uh, you know, listen, uh, I, 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 am, I am forever indebted to the Fietti. Yeah, dude. The uh, side is still up. I just want to point that. Okay, go oh, good. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> so suck it. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey man, you didn't destroy nothing. Uh, we learned a lot today. We learned that uh, that I I what inadvertently am too much like Guy Fieri, oh, no. uh, whether I want to be or not. Uh, we learned that uh, uh, Brian's uh, uh, going to have to face a reckoning. This Monday, oh, I can't believe I said that. PM Central Time, when everybody goes to check the Modern Rogue at youtube.com slash modern rogue, uh, where we will find out whether or not his exploding channel has crossed 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> and then we're all going to tweet out about movies with Mikey, our favorite. Uh, Dude, uh, it's I a- am so, like, the second you hit 100,000, I'm going to lose my mind. Uh, well, then you know what it means. It means I'm now, so happy now you have to hit me up for a collab. You have to come out to Austin. We have to get you on. We have to do oh, some stuff in person, and then we'll toss to your awesome channel. Sprinkle some I of that. I will hold you to that one. Yeah. yeah let's All right. Do it. Done and done. Hey, man, we uh, love you guys. See you next Tuesday. Dying of fire. Night attack. 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 I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>